After seven long months of studying for my CCMP Encore exam, I finally passed that exam. But this definitely wasn't an easy task. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing all my key mistakes that I made, what worked for me, and what I'd do differently if I had to do this all over again. So if you're prepping for your CCMP Encore exam, or any tech certification this year for that matter, this video will save you time, energy, and hopefully a little bit of money. So if you're still with me, let me go ahead and break down all of the resources that I use to pass the CCMP on. Now this study stack is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So if you're studying for any tech certification, especially at CCMP Encore, you wanna start off with visual learning. Getting these training videos is how you're gonna be able to do these hands-on labs because you're gonna be able to follow along with the instructors. If you don't know what CBT Nuggets is, you definitely wanna check it out because ever since I began my tech journey and getting certifications, CBT Nuggets has been my go-to. These lessons are short, they're quick, they're right to the point, packed with real world context, and they're just perfect if you're juggling a busy schedule. And what did I love most is these instructors. They don't just teach you theory, they show you how it applies inside actual networks. I'm definitely not affiliated with them or anything like that. I just wanted to mention them here just in case you were looking for anything. They're just a 10 out of 10, and I definitely highly recommend. All right, the next resource is gonna be the Cisco Press Book, which is gonna be your foundation. It was mine. It's dense, yes, but it's where I got to go in depth that these video courses just can't always cover. I just treated it like a reference manual. Anytime I got stuck in a lab or needed clarity on a protocol, I'd crack it open. I made a habit of just making sure that I take good notes and it's just not about reading this stuff, it's just studying it with a purpose. For practice exams, I always use BOSIN. They're gonna be the game changer for you, they work for me. And their practice exams feel just like the real thing. Not just the format, but the process too because you can put that pressure on there with the simulated time environment and everything like that. So that helps out a lot. And the best part is definitely the explanations. They're absolute gold. Make sure you're getting those answers now when you're going through the practice and not trying to fumble and figure that out on actual exam day. Okay, now let's get to the part where I keep it a buck with you. This is all the mistakes that I made. So please, if anything, listen to these mistakes that I made so that you can learn from them and you don't have to take the CCMP Encore exam twice like I did. First off, I think I preach this a lot. If you haven't seen none of my videos before, but I forgot which one I said it on, but always double down when you're studying, double down on the things that you are weak on. You know what you're weak on. If you're studying for the CCNA, then you know it's subnetting or one of those hard topics. So what I naturally did and what you're naturally gonna do is double down on your strength. So. Like I was going deep on all the topics that I knew about that they were throwing at me. I was going deep on all of that kind of stuff because I was working with it daily. The stuff like automation, SD-WAN and all of that stuff that I really didn't know about, I kind of like was just skimming over it. You know what I mean? When you're just trying to get through it and be like, oh yeah, I'll just answer that when I get on. No, no, those, that's the question that you need to be paying attention to. All right, so mistake number two was that I was just, again, doing this passive learning not doing any kind of active recall. So basically, if you're learning something and you wanna do active recall, an example of that is, we take notes when we're learning from a lecture or if you're reading out of a book, I'm sure you're taking notes. The thing is, is that me personally, I never go back to the notes. Forcing myself to go back through my notes and organizing it in a way that I could either teach it to somebody or if somebody was to read those notes, they would be able to understand it and maybe even perform an action or something out of the steps that I made. Also, I wasn't testing myself enough. Again, I don't know whether I was just had that like cocky attitude that I could just pass this exam first try because I was a network engineer or whatever the case may be, but it definitely humbled me. All right, now let's flip it to the positive side. This is the side that you can actually do. There are four of these things that I really did, but the first one is daily consistency. You're just gonna have to lock in. This should go without saying, don't try to cram on this. 
Um, I've tried to cram exams before in the past. It doesn't work out. Be consistent daily, whatever it takes, even if it's 30 minutes, 20 minutes, something, just as long as you touch it every day. All right, the second habit you're gonna wanna form is active recall. I talked about this a little bit in the last section, but so active recall means that you're gonna actively do something. So the next time you're studying, make sure that you're documenting your notes, going back over them and organizing them, and take it one step further, try to teach it to somebody. All right, the third thing that you wanna do is develop the habit of just labbing, um, whether that's actually getting on the command line or reading through a lab or something or creating your own lab. Get into the habit of that consistency as well as not just studying the theory, but doing the hands-on stuff daily, whatever whatever task it was for me to actually pass it was me having to script every day because automation was tough i had to do stuff with ansible with python until i got comfortable with it all right finally the last habit getting the habit of taking those practice exams if you can't get a boston exam because it costs money try to find a free practice exam also if you're studying for the ccmp encore right now just let me know in the comments what you're working on and i'll definitely reply if this video helped you avoid even one of the mistakes i made go ahead and give me a like on this video share this video out definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll holler at you on that next video